I'm Matt Dad. I'm Science Mom. We're here for challenge problem number 30. This one's a fairly straightforward problem. I'm giving you a 3x3 three three grid, and I'm just asking you to count the number of rectangles in the grid. So I'm not, not the number of squares. We've done that type of question in the past. The number of rectangles. Rectangles. And they can be overlapping and of different sizes. All rectangles. Yep, yep. All the rectangles that follow these grid lines. Is a square a rectangle too? A square is a rectangle. Okay. An excellent point. I'm giving you three minutes to complete this challenge. Okay. Any questions? Um, nope. If you're watching, go ahead and pause the video, give it a try yourself. And begin. Okay. So, I, there are going to be a lot of rectangles, and I think that my best approach is going to be to be somewhat systematic about this. So, um, first, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say how many squares are there that are also rectangles, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine small squares, and then one large square, ten, but I also have this size of square, and that's all of the size of squares that I have, right? I've got the small one, the four, the, or the two by two, and then the three by three. Okay. So, um, nine little ones, one three by three, and how many two by twos? Well, I've got they can they can be in the various corners. There are going to be four of them, correct? Okay. And I just need to make sure I didn't miss one. Wait, there's, so there are four in the corners, and that's it. So squares equal nine plus one is ten plus four is fourteen. I've got fourteen squares. Okay. Um, this is going to get messy. Fourteen squares, and then for rectangles. And what flavors do I have? I've got one by three. I have two by th two by three, and I already did three by three. I need different colors. So I have the green is the one by one by three. Purple is the two by three. But then I also have. 1 by 2, 2 by 2 I already did, and that should be it. I think I accounted for all the different shapes, so I just need to know how many I have. So, 1 by 3, 1 by 2, 2 by 3, I'm just gonna, here I got the 1 by 1, the 2 by 2, and the 3 by 3. Okay. And are there any other combinations that I've missed? I don't think so. No, other than reflections. But other yeah. than, but yeah. Okay. I don't need to worry about reflections here, right? Nope. With the transpositions. Yeah. Transpositions. Okay. So now the, now the tough question. How many? I'm going to try and tackle this one first. One by three. You're down to 30 seconds, so make it fast. Ah! Um, so they can go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of those. Well, the one by twos need a different color. They can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There were a lot of those. And the two by threes. Um, that's this one. There's one. Ah, I'm not done. Right there's number. two. <laughs> there's three. There's four. There's four. So we have. 14 plus, uh, my numbers are a mess. 36 is my guess. <laughs> and I, I think the tone was like still echoing, so. Oh, <laughs> is, that, is that how it works? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this systematic way of doing it, I, I think you would have found yourself a little better off had you, instead of trying to tackle all squares at once, if you just started one by one, one by two, one by three, then, then yeah, 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 just just built it up that way into those six cases. There is an easier way though. Well, let's hear it. Okay, so the easiest way to do this, let me kill the, is to recognize any rectangle has to have a left side and a right side and a top and a bottom, right? Correct. Okay, so you could ask yourself, how many ways can we choose a left side and a right side? So there are four possible vertical lines. Mm -hmm. 
So how many ways can we choose two? Four choose two is a mathematical term, but there turns out there's six ways. Okay. Just by listing out the pairs. Similarly, along this side, there are six ways to choose a top and bottom. So there's six ways to choose the sides, the left and right, six ways to choose the top and bottom. Six times six is? 36. Tell, tell me again how there are six ways to choose. I don't quite get that. If, if I called these A, B, C, D, the how many ways could I choose two of those letters? Well, there's either A, B, A, C, okay. A, D, there's B, C, B, D, or C, and C, D. Those are the only pairs, the unordered pairs gotcha, that I gotcha. can pick. There are six possible combinations. Oh, that's pretty cool. So if you had to solve it for a much larger grid, you'd definitely want a strategy this like approach, this. Yeah. Cool. I like it. Thanks. So do I get the point for that one? She wishes. <laughs>